Whenever we go to a GP or hospital, they collect information about us and our medical history. Only people directly involved in your care can access your full patient record. But some of the information from your record can be useful for other specific purposes. Different bits of health and care data can be brought together in a way where patients can't be identified. Researchers and healthcare staff can search this data for patterns which can help them develop new ways to predict or diagnose illness and identify ways to improve care. Secure data environments, sometimes known as trusted research environments, store this health and care data and control who can access it. In secure data environments, any identifiable information, such as names and birth dates, are removed and replaced with numbers. This data is called de-identified data. Before researchers can access this data, they must show they meet a set of specific criteria through a strict approvals process. Examples of people who could apply for this approval include researchers within NHS organisations, universities, charities and private companies such as pharmaceutical companies. Once approved, researchers can analyse the data, but the data itself always stays in the environment. It cannot be sent out or downloaded. Only the results of the research, such as statistics and graphs, can be taken out. Secure data environments and trusted research environments provide controlled access to information that can help researchers find better ways to predict and diagnose illness, develop new treatments and monitor the safety of existing treatments. They can also support health services planning, help address health inequalities and can make research more cost-effective and collaborative. In short, they can help improve healthcare for all of us.